I just left Great Falls, Montana. The uh, wind is nasty today. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it's pretty bad. I'm gonna get to the border, get checked in, try to find the bomb place to buy my my trip, my one-time trip bond. Maybe I'd see what I can do for the trip coming back. I don't have to wait till I come back. But that's the update. Don't want to keep rambling on. So I will see you guys either in Shelby, Montana, or I'll see you in Calgary, Alberta. Yeah, I was just calling to see if um, I could pay for a one trip permit or bond. Yeah. All right. You guys, I forgot my wallet. All right, guys, a little update. Still at the uh, border. Um, what would you call it? Customs port of entry. Um, Still dealing with trying to get the bond, the single trip permit. Single trip bond, I should say. I always keep calling it single trip permit because I'm used to the same permit. Um, running into payment situations because apparently my car didn't get unlocked um, when, I, when I called to get it unlocked for the trip. And then been running around been running through that thing like four times now um tried to my personal car and it paid like 300 dollars worth of it now i'm gonna do my other personal card so is what it is i'll update you guys when it's all done i should be able to get in and out of here as long as this car works if it doesn't then i spend the night either here or at the rest area down the road inside montana um, until tomorrow morning when I get my card unlocked. Either way, I'm not getting very far tonight because I have to wait till my card unlocked. I'm actually going to update you guys right now just because it's going to get too dark by the time I get back into the truck. So, payment went through. Good to go. I'm only going to get like 100 miles before I have to shut down tonight. Which is unfortunate because my card <laughs> doesn't work. I have to wait till tomorrow for when the bank opens and I can get them to unlock it is what it is but time to go get all this stuff turned in get the stamp and get on the road well good morning guys it is what is today monday we are officially into the week and we are in canada we're probably about i don't know half hour 40 minutes away from calgary i just woke up um did my pre-trip Now I'm going to do my pre-trip, <laughs> my soul's pre-trip. I gotta get some uh, some Bible in. You know what I'm gonna start doing? I'm gonna start praying before I read. I used to do that when I was younger, and I feel like I'm just gonna start that back up instead of reading the Bible and then praying. So let's pray real quick. And yes, I'll take my hat off this time, even though my hair is. <laughs> I don't even know. Don't judge me. It's it's in a work work of progress, okay? It's gonna get long and fluey. Okay. Thank you, Father Lord. Thank you for this day. Thank you for a beautiful morning to wake up to, Lord. Thank you for getting me through customs, Lord. I, uh, thank you for such a smooth process with that. It was amazing. It was probably the best experience I've ever had dealing with customs and the port of entry anybody who prayed for me for this i know i asked a few to pray for me and lord i just i really appreciate them you know taking the time out of their life to, to pray for me lord i pray for pastor Seidel. lord i pray that um he, he's not feeling very good lord so i pray that you, know, you just touch his body heal him lord i pray for the bible study group Caleb McKenna, their kiddos. Uh, Maddie and Steve, Lord, I pray for uh, Maddie's process with her cabin. It's going to be a blessing to have um, a little little small business barber shop. I'm thankful for her husband, Steve, for being able to um, help her through that. Lord, keep him safe while he's at work. 
Lord, for Wade and Whitney, Lord, for Wade at uh, his work at school, for his wife, Whitney. Um, I don't know how she's been feeling lately, but I knew that she was sick for a while. Lord, I pray that if she's better, then uh, thank you for answered prayers. Lord, if, if not, I pray that you let her just heal up. I'm so thankful for for Maddie and Whitney and for all the, the, the ladies that are willing to watch Little Oakland, um, Danny, Heather, or I just, I pray for them all and I'm just so thankful that they're willing to step up and watch our little girl while we're both at work. I'm absolutely blessed to have these kind of people in my, in my lives, in, in our lives, Lord, especially Danny and Heather, they're just the best sisters I could have, Lord, I just pray for them, for Danny and her kiddos, for Danny's pregnancy, for Heather, Lord, for her work and her, uh, everything going on in her life, Lord. I just pray that you just bless her, protect her, protect her little girl. For Stevie, and um, I don't know if that was her husband or boyfriend or whoever it may have been. I don't, I don't even remember his name. Lord, I need to get it next time and remember it. Lord, I just pray for them and everything that's going on in their life. Um, Lord, and for Austin, I don't know much about him, Lord, but you know everything about him. And I just pray that whatever is going on in his life, Lord, is just, you bless him. Lord, for the weather on this trip, just keep me safe through Canada. Let the weather be nice. Let the roads be clear. Um, let me get to Alaska Let the to get this load off and to get back home. And with that, Lord, I will just say, I'm about to read the Bible, so please let me um, be have my full attention into your word. Help me to be able to understand what I'm reading. Help me to apply it to my life. I pray this in your, your name, Lord. I love you, and I'm so thankful. And for all the blessings you have given me and my family. And I pray these in your name, Jesus, amen. Okay, let me just put my hat back on real quick. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna go ahead and read Proverbs 11, verse 30. The fruit of the righteous is the tree of life, is a tree of life, and he that winneth souls is wise. I'm gonna start talking about what I read, and I really hope you guys are okay with that. Um, uh, Cause I wanna, it's, it's not really, it's. It's for you guys if you want it to be, but it's mainly for me to grow and to um, get better at it, you know, because I'm not very good at it. My take on this verse is, so the fruit of the righteous is the tree of life. In your Christian walk, the, the things you do are like, it's compared to fruit. Like, so it, are you yielding good fruit or are you yielding bad fruit? Are doing, you know, what you're supposed to be doing in life as a Christian and, you know, praying, reading, reading God's word, attending church, being uh, in fellowship witnessing just everything you're supposed to do as a Christian and you're, you're yielding good fruit. He that, and then he that wins souls is wise. That to me, basically it, it's what it says. If, you, if you're out there witnessing and winning souls then you're considered wise, you know, you have wisdom. It takes wisdom to be able to witness to others. You need to, be, you need to have wisdom and understanding from, from God, from the word of God and be able to, to witness. But yeah, that's my, uh, a little reading this morning other than that we need to it feels weird that i'm not going to pray after that just when i was used, used to it i think i'm going to just kind of focus on the road play some music and uh i'll get back to you guys here in a little bit well 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 did you look at that i know i'm still kind of a ways out but there's Calgary with something on fire in the distance. <laughs> this I'm going through my first Canada scale oh. Oh. this area is monitored by video surveillance at all times okay that was the smooth
remove this scale. I had to put my flashers on before exiting because it was bad. It was completely full. And not once did I have to stop. All right, guys. We are right outside of Edmonton, making some good time. Alright guys, we made it to Fort St. John, uh, like 200 miles I think, or a little less, Fort Nelson. Um, everything's going still pretty good, thanks to God, I've been praying about that, I didn't want the wells and the rocks to break, uh, I didn't want it to, um, to move any more than it has. keep my eyes on it tightening all the straps up um, I did add we got 40 liters whatever that is and five gallons I think that's like 15 15 20 gallons maybe a little less maybe 15 gallons just in case you know just in case trips going pretty good um, we should be out of Canada I think tomorrow, rolling into uh, Fairbanks Thursday at some point.
put the transmission in uh, neutral so okay. if, if you're able oh it's standard mm -hmm. okay yeah so uh, transmission neutral and re release your park brake I have your wheels chopped okay. Okay, awesome. sorry not used to seeing there's not a lot of <laughs> standard vehicles nowadays yeah I know that's that's almost like a millennial anti-theft device <laughs> I get that a lot from a lot of DOT officers really yeah so I was like, I was like, hey, where's your uh, put it in neutral? I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's all good. I recognize it as soon as I looked at it. It's okay. What's your current odometer reading there? One two five five nine six. Okay, and that's in miles, correct? Correct. Okay, perfect. All right, so um, yeah, again, my name's Officer Sebastian. I'm with the British Columbia Commercial Vehicle Safety Enforcement, essentially DOT. And we're just going to do a quick vehicle inspection. Most part of, part of the inspection, don't do anything unless I ask you to do it. Okay. For the first part, I'm going to be doing a walk around. So what I need you to do is stay in your driver's seat, looking out your windows and mirrors for my hand signals. Hand signals you're looking for are high beam, high beam. low beam, left turn, right turn, four ways, and brakes. Okay. Do you have any questions about that? Okay. So can I get you to put the key in the on position? If it's push start, that's... Essentially, yeah, okay, you got her. Okay. I just, wasn't sure if you had a key or <laughs> push the push button. Yeah, yeah. But no, it's not I, that fancy. <laughs> no, um, <laughs> the yeah, well, because the push button sometimes I have to explain to people not to, to turn it on to okay. not put their foot on the brake because that'll start it, right? Yeah, yeah. Without the foot on the brake, it'll go into the it, it'll turn it'll turn the key on like this, mm -hmm. but not right because otherwise signals don't work. <laughs> No worries. Okay, uh, get you to turn your headlights to the on position, not auto or whatever. Okay. Okay. You got windshield wipers. Yes. Do you want the mist too, or just the wipers? No, just the wipers. Okay. All right. Yeah, well, we just check to make sure that you can clear the rain off. We don't. Act, there's actually nothing that has us check if you can clean it. Oh. Uh. You got a horn? <laughs> sorry. I, sorry, I forgot that that was on. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I'm guessing you got a train horn under there somewhere. <laughs> yeah, so uh, you don't have it to pull the power to the reverse when you're testing the breakaway. Yep, go ahead. Okay, and I'll get you to hop back into the truck. Put on the brake. Yep. Okay, and just in low gear, easy on the clutch, we're just going to try and roll forward okay okay good uh, so neutral and park brake now we're gonna do it first I want you to reconnect the breakaway first then I want to be uh, in first that activated and then start letting the clutch out okay good you want last thing I need to see is emergency roadside devices, triangles or flares. I don't care which ones. All right. Okay, so that's brand new. Yeah, well, there's still triangles, not wrenches. Perfect. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> no, that's why we have to start checking because guys, so we, we found that? guys started using that as a toolbox because we were only looking for the box, not checking inside the box. All right, guys, inspection's done. That was a really cool experience. A lot of fun. Really nice guys. But your boy. Is that a service? Well, this trailer is. My uh, breakaway cable battery is dead. The cold must have killed it. Basically, I got to buy a new battery. Um, and then he was also telling me that my straps, he's like, he's like, I hate to do this to you, man, but your straps are, your hooks are on the road rail. And that can't, that can't be, that can't be it. So he's like, like if you can fix as much as you can, he's like, I know you have a lot of straps down. It looks really good, but if you can get those fixed, so I'll fix those too once I get the battery done. Make sure my magnets are, you know, working for the breakaway cable, and then I have to get, I have to get a permit. I didn't know this. Um, in British Columbia, well, I think technically you need a permit in all the provinces, but. Alberta let me go. They didn't care. I went through the scale. They let me go through. Um, since I'm not at the, the weight of needing a cab card, since I'm under it, I still have to get a permit to travel through British Columbia. I didn't know that. Good to know. They had a battery. 
So hopefully that's the issue. I really don't want there to be a mechanical issue going on to why my breakaway wasn't working. Let's get this battery hooked up. I figured I'd record this because I have no idea what's about to happen. It's a brand new battery and it says it has to recharge. I don't know if that means the actual battery needs to charge because it's a brand new battery or the guy sold me an old battery in my day. Either way, I'm not going to be sitting in this one. I need to get going. So this is something I have. It might work, it might not. Who knows? It might blow up. Yeah, we'll give that a minute to let that kind of run and charge. Officer again, or whatever they call it, C C M V C M S E or something like that. V S. I don't know. I'll talk to him. So he'll come check us off. Get out of here. So something I didn't know that I found out. Oh, and by the way, we gotta leave. So I'm feeling up. Gonna get some. Gonna go to the bathroom and then get some. Uh, <clears throat> I think some Tim Hortons.